Okay guys, here's a quick video on setting up the transports uh, in MPC Live to use with your Push 2 or your Ableton. Um, so, kind of simplifying your workflow. This is to help remind me if I forget in the future and hopefully help somebody out there on the web. Alright, so here we go. Uh, what you want to do is go here. Click that, go to edit, go to preferences, when preferences comes up, go to hardware. In hardware, you have two choices. You have to host all or, or to MPC plugin. If you choose to use to host all, uh, you still need to record into the MPC software. The only way you're going to be able to record into Ableton is to actually use the push or an, or another device like a keyboard or something. But if you're tapping in on the MPC Live, it has to record into the MPC software. I hope that makes sense. With that being said, if you use host to DAW, you have to hit manually, come up here with your mouse, click re arm it, either overdub or regular record arm it, and then arm it on the hardware. And now you're recording. It's a lot of steps because now you got to disarm it when you're done recording or it's going to continue to record into the software easiest thing to do is to try this mode in PC to plug in now when you use that mode now um, your transport record and overdub now acts activates the software and that leaves you three buttons to use for the Ableton software the play start play and stop so we're gonna go ahead and set up two NBC plug-in Click OK, and then right here in the Ableton software, we're going to click MIDI. Once we click MIDI, we're going to select Play, and now I'm going to push Play on the MPC, and I've created, I've just mapped it. The next one I'm going to do is Stop. And I'm clicking stop on the NPC and I've just mapped it. Now in the Ableton software, you don't want to click this record because that record does much of nothing. You want to click this record. And then to this record, I'm going to map play start. Okay, now that I've mapped those, this is the most important part. Uh, you're going to get, uh, your transport is going to work. You may have some odd things happening with it. And what I mean by that, it kind of, um, it may double click or it may not start immediately, the transport, when you start to record. So you have to come down here with one of these, uh, and we'll, we'll go through all three of them, but we'll do this one first because it's already highlighted. You have to come down here and where it says absolute, you want to choose relative comp 2 and then you're going to do that for all three of them all right now once you've done relative comp 2 for all three you go here you're done now when you press play Play works. Play works. When you hit stop, stop works. It starts at the top. When you hit play start, now you get your push to count in. Now when you hit record overdub, 
it activates the record there. And then when you hit play record like you normally would hit your play start like you would normally do with your NPC Live, you get your count in and then it starts. So that is the way uh, you want to set up your transport in Ableton. I hope this helps somebody. Um, again, I made this video mostly for me because I forgot all about that and I was racking my brain until I figured out that I had to set up those absolute relatives. Hopefully this helps somebody. Have fun. Keep creating great music.